Welcome to Airgun Academy, presented by Pyramid Air, your online airgun resource. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the differences between coiled steel springs and gas springs. A lot of you won't ever go inside your gun, and that's fine, but it's nice to know what's in there just the same. So I'm going to talk about how these things work to make your spring piston air gun do what it does. Let's start with a coiled steel spring, and for that I have the spring unit out of a HW50 rifle. I don't have the barrel, I don't have the stock or the trigger, but this is really what makes it work. And there's the spring. It doesn't always come out that easy, but I had this one ready to go. The main spring is on a guide. This one's synthetic, some of them are made of steel. That guide keeps the spring straight, keeps it from wiggling around, vibrating when you shoot. The other end of that spring pushes a piston. Now, the spring, you see the piston has a rod in it too, see that? That's kind of like another spring guide. And that rod, when you cock the gun, goes inside the synthetic spring guide. So everything goes together real close. And I don't begin to have the strength to push them together right now. Okay, these parts, when you fire, do two things. The piston accelerates forward violently, compressing the air in front of it. This, coming to a sudden stop, makes the gun go forward and recoil. Also, this spring tends to vibrate a lot. And that vibration comes through the stock. You, it can actually hurt. Uh, in most guns, it doesn't hurt, but you do feel it. It's just not a pleasant thing. I'm gonna show you a different kind of spring, a gas spring. That's what this is. Some gas springs are one unit. The whole unit is the gas spring. The industry name for this unit is gas spring. If it's in a car in a certain place, they call it a gas strut. And that's where it got that name. I don't know where it got the name Ram. I don't care what you call it, as long as you understand that what it is is a container filled with compressed gas that pushes on its own piston to extend this rod that sits inside this piston and pushes it forward. Your coiled steel spring pushes the piston at about 80 feet per second. So there's no way that spring is pushing the pellet out the barrel because it comes out at sometimes a thousand feet per second. So it's the air that's being compressed by the piston that pushes the pellet. Gas spring is a little bit faster. They may go a hundred feet per second. Nice thing about gas springs, they have a little less vibration than your coiled steel springs. Let me talk about the advantages and disadvantages of both. Your steel spring is simpler. It's simpler to fix. You have to put lubrication on the outside of this spring, even oil, but a lot of us use grease. It, gets, it tends to get slow because it's very viscous. These springs, if left cocked for a long time, can break or break down, just get weaker, but they're easier to work on. Gas spring, lighter parts, they don't weigh as much. It's a little faster acting. You can leave it cocked forever because compressed gas does not take a set like a spring does. It's not really sensitive to temperature because there isn't as much lubrication in the gas spring unit. However, those are the positives. The minuses are it's harder to cock. It has a sharp firing cycle. Even though it doesn't vibrate like a steel spring does, it has a snap to it and sometimes that you can feel that through the stock on your gun. This unit is difficult to fix. If you need one, you probably have to buy the whole thing all over again. In this episode, I've talked about the differences between coiled steel mainsprings and gas springs. In both power plants, all they're doing is moving a piston forward and the piston compresses the air in front of it shoving the air through the air transfer port at very high velocity. I've talked about spring pistons that are powered by coiled springs. They have more parts, they weigh more, but they're simpler to work on. Coiled steel springs are usually easier to cock. 
They have time limits on how long they can remain cocked. They need more lubrication and that in cold weather can slow you down. Gas springs are lighter, they're quicker, and they can stay cocked indefinitely. The coiled steel spring can be tuned. The gas spring, the powerful one, fires a little more violently and they're almost impossible to tune. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching.